Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to another uh, movie scene reaction. As you can tell by this uh, pause frame, it is Luke Skywalker versus Darth Vader on the Death Star 2 with Emperor Palpatine. Uh, I guess you could say, not on commentary, but observing. So um, this is probably my second favorite lightsaber battle and not even so much because of optics or choreography or anything like that, but just because of the pure, raw emotion of the fight and everything that goes through. Um, I would start where the lightsaber about actually begins, but I think that this first minute or so before is actually very important because at this point, if you haven't seen Return of the Jedi yet, obviously, spoil alert, but I can't imagine any spoiler alerts be needed for this but um obviously luke at this point knows that darth vader is his father and he's tr he tr he's wanting to redeem his father but at this point he's watching the rebel fleet basically um failing in their attempts to hold together because they just fell obviously fell into a trap that was laid by the emperor they're trying to get the shield for the Death Star down so they can destroy it again but um yeah so right now things are not looking good for the resistance and Palpatine is trying to turn Luke and if you know anything about the Sith they're out for their own gain Vader wants Luke to destroy the Emperor and Vader wants to take over as the Master Sith and rule the galaxy with Luke by his side whereas Palpatine as known by his past is always looking for the hot new better apprentice so he wants luke to destroy vader to become his apprentice and he is doing his best to push luke over the edge and um just like my previous reaction to the good bad and the ugly i know how everything's going to happen so this is going to be more of a commentary and um my first commentary is that there are parts where it really seems like they're going to succeed in getting him. And there are certain parts um, that I think they do wonderfully. The first thing that they do is the fact that even though he is claiming himself to be on the side of the Jedi, how Luke is wearing all black. So let's go ahead and get this started. You hear it already. I mean, you can see Luke really trying hard to fight it. He is trying hard. You can see it. But then you see him glance at his saber. So you would think him saying that you would realize that that's exactly what he wants you to do, but he does it anyways. Alright, so the battle begins and has been going on. And as you can see, Luke is owning Vader, which is a stark contrast from his battle in Empire Strikes Back where Vader was toying with him. But it is clear Luke has definitely gotten there. But the thing is, it's not just pure skill that's doing it, it's because he is fighting with anger. And that's why he shut down his saber. And that's the difference between Luke and Vader when you really think about it. Because even though they both were toying with the dark side because of their feelings for their loved ones, Luke was able to pull himself back, whereas Vader did not. So you notice how at first Luke was completely on the offensive, now he's fighting completely defensively. And Vader knows that he can't toy with him anymore. Stop the train, father. I feel the good in you. The 
And even now, his sole purpose at this moment is to redeem his father. And Palpatine, see, in his mind, he, this is a win-win for him. Either he's going to get a new apprentice, or he's still going to go on with Vader. So no matter what, he wins in his mind. Uh, another thing that I think is very important to point out in this, um, even though I don't count the little bit in Empire Strikes Back, this is really the first lightsaber battle in the original trilogy that was fully done with a score behind. Before, it was always just the lightsabers and whatever the background was before with no music behind it until the battle was over. This is the first one where music was actually done with this. Now this is something I was talking about earlier about how the way it was shot. If you notice how Luke, how he's like half in the light and half in the dark, that, show, that to me is showing like his inner struggle. And this is where it goes downhill for him. Watch Luke's expression. Notice him shaking his head. And that was the last straw. You notice how Luke is mostly in darkness. That one, that is describing how he is like in the dark side right now. Even though you completely understand why he lost his stuff because of his love for his sister. But look, notice how much, like, he is not only on the defensive and, like, owning Vader even more than he was before. I mean, look at how defensive Vader is forced to be on this. I mean, look at this. And I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to... Mm. All right, I'm going to pause this for a bit. I'm actually going to go back and I'm just going to be silent for a minute. Because the musical score on this, just like with the Good, Bad, and the Ugly duel, on how the music speaks so much, that music, holy cow. I just got, I want to get to the right part, though. So I'm going to let the rest of that duel go without me just saying anything. I just want you to take in the scene, everything that you saw up to that point, knowing it, and just how everything just comes to a head, even with the score. that like Luke has practically turned in a sense now I'm gonna cancel that so it didn't show um, what goes on after that but from there Palpatine kind of points out how his anger and hate has added to his power and tells him to finish off Vader and it's at that moment Luke realizes what was going on Everything that he was trying hard to fight within himself, he was losing that battle. And he realized that, you know, when he looked at his hand, his mechanical hand that Vader took in the last movie, and then he looks down and realizes he took the exact same hand. And that was when he realized, he was like, no, he was about to lose that battle. The one battle he needed to win, he was about to lose. And unlike Anakin in episode three, when Anakin could have come back, even though what he did was horrible, you know, in a sense, and was definitely dark side ish when he helped bring down Mace Windu. In his mind, he only wanted to save his wife. He was not able to deal with the idea of losing his wife. So he kept going on that path to the dark side, whereas Luke realized that 
he w- had that chance still to renounce the dark side and he does and it almost cost him his life but that little bit of light that was in Vader um Luke's actions helped redeem Vader and like I said it that's what makes this fight so great to me is the fact that it's not just about the fight choreography everything it's about the story that the fight is telling the raw emotion that's in this it's almost like a like people talk about professional wrestling you know it's like how you tell a story in the ring you know they are telling a story with their lightsabers you know where vader constantly talks about how he feels it's too late for him but luke doesn't believe that and he's willing to fight for that but at the same time he's still got his own inner struggle with between the light and the dark with him that he is fighting and that battle he almost lost but he came back and in winning that battle he was also able to win back his father and that's what i love the most about that so um yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video uh if you did hit um hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some of my other uh reactions commentary and some of my other gaming exploits leave a comment let me know what you thought about that battle and uh let me know um you know if you're a fan of star wars uh what was your favorite lightsaber battle and why you know maybe i'll do a commentary on that and if there's anything else you'd like to see me do some reactions to you know gladly let me know i'll catch y'all down the road